I'm set up here to begin the tenons on the structures and the aprons. The aprons are the wider two pieces, the front and back pieces, and then the lower stretchers. And these all connect uh, to the mortises on the legs. So the tenons are one and a quarter inch in length and they're five sixteenths inch thick. So I've set the blade, since this is seven eighths thick material, nine thirty seconds high, and I'm cutting the shoulders here, and I just cut one side and then I flip over and cut the other side and I'm left with a little bit fat 5 16 inch uh, tenon in here and I'll cut the shoulders out with the bandsaw. I've also checked to make sure that the fence and the miter gauge are perpendicular and I've watched carefully to make sure that the outside tooth of the blade is one and a quarter inches out from the from the fence and I'm ready to continue with this end of the stretcher has not been cut yet, so I'll do that, and then I'll cut the aprons. The stretcher tenons will be full length, two and a quarter, the full width of the stretcher will be the tenon. However, when I get to the aprons, there will be a uh, shoulder uh, at both top and bottom. So I'll also cut the shoulder at this 930 seconds, even though I'll have to do a little hand sawing afterward to get the full shoulder length. So I'll put on my glasses, put on my hearing protection and uh, quickly go through the, the cuts here. I didn't mention before, the aprons and the stretchers are the same length, 32 and a half inches overall length. I'm ready to cut the cheeks on the tenons for these aprons first and then the stretchers. And I want to achieve a 5 16 inch wide a thick tenon and I've set the fence for 930 seconds to the outside of the tooth and the first thing I will do is is just nick the both sides here and check that dimension and adjust the fence uh, based on that 
and then uh, proceed to go ahead and uh, cut, make the cuts. So at this time I'll turn on the bandsaw.